r slash entitled parents. Posted by you slash the quarantinian. Eight hours ago, mother of bride forgets it isn't her wedding. As a kid I would often be working at my dad's workplace, he was an off-premise caterer and an event planner and would often be hired to put together lavish wedding parties. Huge feasts. Cheese and fruit tables 40 feet long. Lots of wine. Sometimes multiple picks for both an afternoon and an evening roast. Lots of fancy people wanting fancy parties. Paying a ton of money and expecting the world to revolve around them. One event in particular stood out because when the bride-to-be and her mother came in to go over details they had some rather heated disagreements over some really, really stupid crap. My dad would just sit there quietly, not taking sides and patiently wait for people to work out the differences. But one argument came to an interesting and final conclusion. The mother of the bride was arguing about the specific shade the decorative ribbons and icing trim on the cake should be. Up until that point she had proven herself incapable of letting her daughter have the final say in anything. For the menu to the plate garnishes. To the time the meal was to start, the mother was insisting that she have her way on everything. The daughter was gritting her teeth and just grinding through it. But when her mother started to fuss about the exact shade of off light green no that's too light no that's too dark the bride snapped. She loudly and firmly stated mother. If you don't knock it off right this instant I am going to disinvite you from the wedding. This is my day and while I value your input the decisions will be mine. Single quote. She then turned to my dad. Looked him squarely in the eyes and said I will be signing your check you work for me. Nothing is decided until I say so. If my mother tries to plan or change anything you are to call me immediately. I do not expect you will have any problems with that. My dad simply said not at all and they got back to planning the wedding. r slash entitled parents. Posted by you slash he who stalks Kirby. Ten hours ago. Karen's demands I let her child play with my Nerf gun. M. On mobile sorry if the formatting is weird. When I was around 12 years old a few of my friends and I went to a park that was a block away from our apartment complex. We brought our Nerf guns and a cooler filled with water bottles so we didn't have to run home if we got thirsty. When we arrived at the park there weren't many other kids there so we played a simple game of defend the playground where one player would have a Nerf gun and the other players would have to tag the defender without getting shot. After a few rounds I ended up as the defender and called the timeout so everyone could get a drink of water. I set the Nerf gun down at the top of the slide and left it unattended. I did this because there wasn't anybody around and I wasn't worried about anyone stealing it. On our way back from getting drinks I saw a kid who was roughly six years old holding my Nerf gun and messing around with it. I approached him and kindly asked for it back to which he complied. My friends and I were about to resume our game when a woman in her early thirties storms up to me and starts yelling at me, me, the bane of Kirby M, the antagonist K, the six-year-old kid C, my friend, M, screaming, colon. You just ripped that toy out of my son's hand. Me. No I D I D N T I I nicely asked for it back. M. Yes you did I just watched you do it. C. No he D I D N T and it's his anyway and your kid shouldn't have messed with it in the first place. M. Well he shouldn't have left it unattended and besides you have been playing with it the whole time. You are here and I saw him giving other kids turns so why can't care have a turn. Me. Because it's mine and I am going to use it. At this point M just scoffs and walks away so my friends and I decide to get back to our game and. We even let K join in. About an hour later my friends and I decided to head home for the day and while we were packing our. Things M approached me. M. What's your name? Me. I don't have to tell you. M. Where do you live? C. We are not going to tell you that. M. Well I'm going to follow you home so I can go tell your parents that you were rude to me and my son. We told her to screw off and started to head home but guess what? The crazy bitch wasn't joking she tried to follow us home so my friends and I did what any 12 year old would do. 
We ran around the neighborhood a few times so she would stop following us and it worked. TLDR. Entitled mother gets mad that I wouldn't let her son play with my Nerf gun so she stalked me and tries to follow me home.